What's up guys and welcome to the vlog. Today I'm taking a sporadic trip. Tracy is at her grandmother's with Noah. Uh, they're hanging out there. I think they're gonna be there tonight. So I'm gonna go to Christiansburg and see my buddy Nate. Now I'm live streaming on my gaming channel tonight, but I'm gonna go, it takes about an hour and 15, hour and a half to get there. So we're gonna go spend a little bit of time there and then come back home. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is outside of just hanging out for a bit probably go and eat i think we're gonna eat at jersey mike's i've never ate there before so i'm really really excited about that and i love sub shops and stuff like that so without further ado let's go down here I'm down here Nate's always been here uh or not always but you know what I mean got our Jersey Mike sub Nate got his own I got mine apparently I'm number 13 it's unlucky hopefully it's gonna be good though so we're gonna go back to his apartment chill out watch some us eating subs what it'll be awesome Sounds great. Oh. This is gonna be awesome. Here we go, first ever Jersey Mike's experience. Oh, it is so just dripping wet with all kinds of goodness here. It's got jalapenos on it, I added that, so let's go. That is a mighty fine sub. It's a good it's a mighty fine sub. So, I'll hurt you guys after this because this is gonna be too messy. All right, guys, so I'm leaving Christiansburg. I didn't do much down there. Me and Nate just hung out. We ate that sub. That sub was delicious. Jersey Mike's, fantastic. Would definitely eat there again. Plan on coming down and doing that again. Next time I come down, maybe I'll film more. Uh, I'm just trying to spend a little bit of time with Nate just because, uh, uh, you yeah, know, just some stuff. But um, I, uh, you know, I just, I wanted to just come down and just kind of hang out with him and I didn't have a whole lot of time. So I just wanted to uh, wanted to do that. So, um, but yeah, right now we are headed home, um, and then I will talk to you guys when we get there. All right, guys. So I am back from Christiansburg. Uh, while I was down there, my buddy Nate gave me a couple of cards. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, this is a see-through. I don't know. I'm sure these have a name to it, but uh, Malcolm Brogdon rookie card for the Bucks. Very, very cool. Just about dropped it. Uh, and you know I'm a big Bucks fan, and that's really, really cool. Uh, he gave me another rookie card, and this is cool because it has game-worn jersey fragment in it. So it's a Malcolm Brogdon jersey fragment card. So I got two rookie cards, and uh, that's really, really cool. I love collecting cards uh, as far as for teams that I enjoy. Uh, I don't have, like, a big buy like binder and like I don't have them all organized and stuff but I love cards and especially stuff like this of teams that I like with players that I like I like these a lot so Nate thank you so much also some takeaways from the trip to Jersey Mike's every restaurant that I eat at that's not Subway makes me say man I wish that was in Bluefield the amount of meat you get on a sub from there is ridiculous like when I order a sub from Subway here is the meat selection right on the sub when I ordered a sub from Jersey Mike's, it's like, oh, here's the meat. It's so much more. Like, I don't know. These play, and it's cut fresh. They have the meat saws there, or and the, or the meat uh, meat slicers, and they cut them. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's such an, a great experience and really, really good food. I got an Italian sub, uh, and it was fantastic. I loved it. I'm really, really anxious to try it again. But I'm also anxious to try a couple of other sub places. Um, such as uh, Jimmy John's. I've never ate at Jimmy John's and there's one in Christiansburg, maybe the next trip down there. But other than that, fantastic. Like I said, every place that's not Subway makes me say, God, I wish that you were in Bluefield because Subway, I love Subway, but quality and quantity, man, doesn't compare literally to any other sub place. They, every other sub place loads your sandwich, make sure that you're taken care of. Also, if I can say, you guys have been really, really awesome about um, with me being sick and sticking by the vlogs. Now, yesterday's vlog didn't do too well view-wise, but it was literally called something about a rest day, and I didn't really expect it to do huge. And it was literally just updating you my temperature and stuff like that. My temperature is, I think, back down to normal. We can check it. It was uh, 
99.4 this morning, which is down from the, yeah, 99.4, uh, which is down from the 100, uh, over 100 that it was. Let's see if we're on par, see if we're kind of back down to normal now. 98, actually says 98.1, I don't know if that's correct or not, but it seems a little low to me, but I feel a lot better. St <clears throat> say that almost choking to death. Uh, I still have a little bit of uh, nasal congestion and stuff, but other than that, I feel pretty solid. I still don't feel great, but I definitely feel better than what I did. And thank you guys for understanding, and thank you for, uh, you know, realizing that, you know, sometimes things happen. So, but I'm glad that you guys have stuck by the vlog. Now, yesterday, the NBA draft happened. You guys know I'm a huge sports fan, and I want to talk for just a brief second about that. Firstly, um, who made out like a bandit that night? Who had the best draft? The team that had the best draft wasn't actually... It, the team that had the best draft had nothing to do with the draft. The best draft was by Minnesota when they traded a draft pick and two guys for Jimmy Butler. Minnesota got Jimmy Butler, who is a top 15 player in the league. He's an all-star. And they basically traded a guy who's injured, and they're not even sure if he's going to be the same after his injury, and a dude who will be in his second or third season who's not really played anything. So if you're not into sports, imagine trading like um, trading a really, really good pillow that you're comfortable with for like uh, a bag of nails and then like possibly a comforter that you're not really sure if it's been washed recently. I don't know if that makes sense or not. That might be a really bad analogy. The point is, Minnesota made out, like, I mean, crazy. What a crazy deal. I wish Milwaukee could have got in on that, because I'm sure if they would have offered him, like, uh, John Henson and a water boy, they probably would have taken it and given us Jimmy Butler, which would have been awesome. Now, I think this trade can immediately make uh, Minnesota a playoff team. Jimmy Butler has already played for um, Tom Thibodeau. Therefore, he knows how to work in his system, and I think they can immediately make the playoffs. I also think this year that the Pelicans should make the playoffs with um, DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. Uh, I don't know who they drafted, but surely to God, somebody to help that team out. But I, I think they can make the playoff, too. And the, the reason is, is because you've got some teams that are going to be dropping out. Um... I think that the, I don't know if the Clippers are going to fully drop out of the playoffs, but especially with losing Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, I think they're going to struggle. And I hear that they might be shopping around DeAndre Jordan. So it looks like they're just blowing the Clippers up and eh, whatever. And then I think, again, that this kind of, I just think that Minnesota is going to be solid. They were 31 and I think 51 this past year. Um, and I definitely look for them to improve that. Now, obviously, to make the playoffs in the West, you're going to have to have a better record. Um, than what you would have to have in the East, but I do think Minnesota can do that. And like I said, I, I look for a team like the Clippers to fall. Maybe Portland not really have a great year. Um, I don't know. I, I think, but I, I think that Minnesota. I think Minnesota definitely makes the playoffs. Did you guys watch the draft at all? What do you think? There's a lot of stuff happening. Um, I know that Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, like I said earlier, terminated their contracts with the Clippers, so they're going to be seeking free agency. What did you guys think about it? It's been. It seems like this is one of the hottest starts to a free agency. Have like that I can remember. Usually it seems like it takes a long time, but from day one after the season ended, it was just rumor after rumor, and then bam, Jimmy Butler's gone, and Griffin and Paul, you know, getting rid of, the, or, you know, opting out of their contracts. Like, it's crazy. Like, what do you guys think about it? What are your thoughts on it? Um, what have you thought about the draft and the offseason so far for the NBA? And with that, guys, I'm actually going to end the vlog there. It is 1.30 in the morning. I actually still have a little bit of cleaning to do that I told Tracy I was going to do uh, before she gets home tomorrow. As I said, she's at her grandmother's with Noah. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my first experience at Jersey Mike's. It was fantastic. You guys rock. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.